Hey, I'm Lydia, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made some Barbie-inspired earrings with resin. And with the Barbie movie now in theaters, I figured there was no better time to share this tutorial than right now. But before we get started, tap the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, let's start the tutorial. These are some of the supplies that I use to make these earrings, and I'm gonna have everything listed and linked in the description box below, so it's easy for you to find them all, but I'm using epoxy resin, an earring mold, acrylic paint, UV resin, glitter, a respirator mask, always, whenever you're working with resin, always wear a respirator mask, adhesive vinyl, glue, and earring hardware as well. We're gonna start out by mixing our epoxy resin. If you're just starting out with epoxy resin and you feel confused or overwhelmed, I actually have a series of videos that's basically a beginner's guide to using resin and using it well and using it right. And I'll have that linked above and also in the description box below. I'm gonna start adding some acrylic paint because I want these to be pink. I'm gonna work with two shades of pink, a pastel pink and then a more vibrant pink. The pastel pink, paint that I have isn't the right shade. I want it to be a really, really light pink. So I'm adding white first and then coming in with my pastel pink and mixing it up. Then I'm going to add glitter. I use an ultra fine glitter here and mix it in. Now, before I pour the resin into the mold, I take a little piece of tape or transfer tape and just make sure that I pick up any little pieces of lint or hair, anything that might be sticking to the inside of the mold. And then I'm gonna pour the resin in and make sure that I direct the resin around that little stub that's going to be the hole that runs through the earring. For the next color, I'm going with a more vibrant pink. And for that one, I just need the paint by itself. And I'm gonna repeat that same process for the flower shape that I have here. Now, a mistake that I made when I was pouring the resin was I didn't go back after pouring the resin with like a little tiny swab or even the popsicle stick around the inside bottom crease of the mold to make sure that there was no air bubbles in the resin towards the bottom. And that'll show up a little bit later. It was very small, so I'm not really worried about it. And these are for personal use, but if you are planning on selling earrings, that's something that you should definitely do. I let the resin cure overnight and the earrings were ready to pop out of the mold. Make sure that when you're taking them out of the mold, you're careful with that little stub, like I said earlier, that runs through the earring because it will snap off if you pull too hard. I'm setting out my earring hardware. These are my jump rings that are going to, um, that I'm gonna use to attach the accent piece to the main earring. So the accent piece is gonna be where I, I place a stud like I'm doing here. And so I'm using a little drop of Gorilla Glue, the clear kind and um, attaching the stud backing to the accent part of the earring. So while that dries, I'm gonna move on to the second earring, which is the oval shape. And my idea for this was more of a cameo style earring. And I went ahead and glued on the stud backings to the, to the accent piece. And on my silhouette, I made a silhouette of the Barbie head. Then I took my adhesive vinyl and I cut it out on my cameo silhouette to make a Barbie silhouette. <laughs> I found the SVGs that I used for this project on Etsy, and I will leave the link for that in the description box below. I used transfer tape to apply the vinyl onto the resin piece, and I make sure that I smooth it out really well so that there's no air pockets trapped underneath the vinyl. Now that I have my vinyl onto my resin piece. I'm going to dome each piece with UV resin. Um, you can definitely do this step with epoxy as well, but I just wanted to move it along a little faster, so I'm using UV. I really believe that the UV light source or lamp that you use is important, and so I found that when I was using a lower wattage UV lamp, it was taking a lot longer to cure them, and even after multiple cycles of curing, the resin was still kind of sticky. And so I switched over to a more high powered nail curing UV lamp. And that allowed me to get really hard set results in a shorter amount of time. I always cure my UV resin pieces for at least 120 seconds. And 
of course that that might vary depending on your lamp but for me 120 seconds works really well for a nice hard smooth finish the final step for these is adding our earring hardware i always recommend using surgical stainless steel you can find a lot of great sellers on etsy or amazon who sell surgical stainless steel earring hooks stud backings and jump rings as well i highly recommend doing that so i'm going to twist these jump rings open and then add my components and then twist it back closed. Never pull a jump ring open. You always want to twist back and forth until the piece is open and then twist back and forth to line it up to close it. The final pieces turned out so beautiful. I love how they all turned out and how easy it was to make. But maybe epoxy resin isn't your thing. And so you can also make these pieces out of acrylic that's already cut for you. All you have to do is add your hardware to it and you can top them with UV resin as well. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link for the acrylic pieces in the description box below and then watch this video next so you know how to attach UV resin to acrylic.